So we just started on Split Rock Trail Loop on Saturday, December, what day, 19th? We got Lake Superior here in front of us and it's a balmy about 20 degrees out here right now, maybe, maybe 19. Got Josh here, Ooh, setting out to do a, just a Saturday night stop in the woods somewhere along the trail and then head back to the car tomorrow morning and head out. Just about five minutes in we got to the map here. So we parked here and we've walked down here and so we're going to be doing this loop and back to the car. So tonight we'll probably camp somewhere up here and tomorrow I'll finish it off to the lot. So the hike in right off the bat, pretty steep uphill, but a really rewarding view once you get to the top. That's awesome. Beautiful. Got a little toasty on the way up, had to strip off the coat. It's funny because earlier in town when we were getting gas, I was super cold wearing just this, but now I'm like pretty warm. It's important to make sure you don't sweat on the trail in the winter so you can freeze. I think we've been on the trail about 45 or 50 minutes now. We, as we're walking along, I'm sitting here thinking like, how could anybody not like camping and hiking in the woods? This is one of the best things that you could ever do. <laughs> I love it for so many reasons. And then I started thinking, I was like, well, there's people out there who probably love bowling or golf or something. And as they're playing, they think, how the hell can other people not absolutely love this? This is the best thing. So. I get it, but still, being out here, you get to experience just awesomeness and great beauty that we have, and you get to explore, get exercise, learn lessons, find out what you really need to be happy. A lot of times, a lot of people find out that it's not very much that they need to be happy. I'll tell you what, I'm ecstatic right now. As we're making our approach up this hill, you can hear the rushing water from the river down in the valley, just off to the left. Josh is still trekking away up there. out here you hike around you get rewarded for it and it's awesome That's the bridge we'll be going across to make our way back down towards the road. This is probably the northern, well, we're not north, we're west, right? This is the westernmost point that we'll probably have the whole route. 
Uh, in northern. That bridge, I northern. think, is the northernmost point. Okay. I keep hearing... Dog collars? Yeah. Were you? I I've heard it. I thought I just heard it for a second. I've heard it twice now. Yeah. That's crazy. I'll keep the camera rolling. <laughs> People will know how we went out. <laughs> yeah, no, that is kind of weird. I keep hearing a dog collar behind us. Yeah. Oh, that'd be even better. Probably is a escaped dog who turned feral. Okay, well, I guess I'll film this too since my camera wouldn't turn off. Check this out quick. Oh. Rolling. Rolling. Look at Tied up the bridge. Don't want to get in the way. We got Split Rock River, May 2007. This bridge is, oh my God. Did you feel the bridge leaning and shaking? Yeah, there's a sign that says one hiker at a time. Right there, one's covered up with snow. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, that thing's leaning. They build it curved like that on purpose? Um, since they put ropes up, I'm guessing no. <laughs> I was thinking not. <laughs> wow. That's wild. <laughs> it's beautiful. Fun trip. So here's our current situation. Everything's good. <laughs> we uh, we came across a campsite on the um, other side of the river, which is what we were looking for. But this one that we found wasn't on the maps that we have, so we ventured ahead. Josh just went down this hill because we decided might as well press on and see if we can find another site. Josh is saying no, there's no site there, so we might head back to it. Okay. We're heading back to that campsite. The unobservant trail blazers that we are walked right past Split Rock on our way through the first time. And on our way back to that campsite, just came across it. Pretty cool structure. It kind of reminds me of Magnetic Rock at the end of the BRT that we found. Yeah. Got some fellow camper hikers across the way. You can see them walking around. Pretty view. With a nice split. Split in the river even right here. All right, so after we set up camp, we'll rig something up to get out to that yeah. island piece. Go camp up there. Nice, even better. <laughs> All right, just arrived at the campsite. Tonight, our home will be Southwest Split Rock campsite. It has some very beautiful amenities here. Look at that luxurious bench with a fire pit. The latrine up the hill and many a place for your tent. All right, I'm gonna set up my tent now. found my spot. Let's take a look inside. First time using this guy. Got a little vestibule here. You can close it up if you want. Still have access to the tent. Or you can pin this on the inside to just keep it open. Uh, uses trekking poles, or it comes with um, tent poles as well, but I left them behind because uh, why? Why not? Go ahead and open the inside here. There are two zippers. I tested this out last night. Finally got the tent set up. 
I for, I'd forgotten that uh, pole in the front and then I guided out in the front and then uh, we'll see the inside in a sec. Added some Christmas lights for the season since it is the 19th. Christmas is very soon here. Inside of here, nothing in the vestibule yet. I got my pack sitting next to it, next to the tent. Like I said, I got trekking poles. Inside the tent, uh, you got the Aether 35 sleeping bag with a fleece, I think, insert or silk or something. Yeah, it's like 15 degrees, so I should be fine tonight. Got my little pillow. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little one-man tent. It's funny because I had brought one of these light strands for Josh here. But when I took it out and showed him, he said, oh, I have one as well already. His is white. It's not out yet. So our other strand of colored lights had to go onto our little campsite Christmas tree. The only tree around here that uh, was suitable for <laughs> a strand of that size. We've got the river flowing down there. You can kind of hear it a bit. And uh, Josh is processing firewood. I should probably help him out. with an Esbit. Getting bubbles and steam, not boil yet. Going to eat dinner, duh. The Alpine Air Foods honey lime chicken. Alright, so we turned in a bit of an early night. Uh, I think right now it's 7.40. Good morning, it's a beautiful 5 a.m. Last night, the food that I cooked turned out okay. It had good flavor, not much chicken, despite having chicken in its name. And uh, the pot of water that I was boiling to put in the food to hydrate it boiled over and uh, doused the stove. <laughs> so my food didn't fully hydrate. I don't think the water was hot enough. So it might not have actually been boiling. But uh, yeah, 5 a.m. here now. We're up. Got to pack up, break camp by 6. And we'll be hiking in the dark. So hopefully it's not as icy as yesterday. But that's just a dream. It's going to be. Here at the trail's end and uh, have, have this really nice view of Lake Superior. There's Josh down there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a ship out there on the lake with its lights on. Maybe coming into port. Pretty cool. They uh, probably dock in the Duluth area, which is south of where we are. But yeah, pretty good hike. It's a nice fun, what Josh would like to call a micro trip. Came in midday yesterday, out very early today, a little five mile loop, stayed at the campsite that I showed you before. Fun trip, um, very icy hike in and out. Um, I'm very happy that we had trekking poles because they saved my ass a few times. I uh, highly recommend bringing trekking poles no matter the time of year out here, just with the terrain and uh, now being as slippery as it is. And you know, it's a very wet area, so if you were to come out here when things are not frozen uh, it's still gonna be pretty wet and you're gonna be stepping and jumping around a lot trying to avoid those pockets so uh, 
thanks for watching. Um, if you want, you can check out one of Josh and I previous trips with uh, a friend of ours, Rob, where we went on the Border Route Trail, and uh, that was a 75 mile trip over five days, I think. So I'll link those down below. Thanks for watching.